Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, be warned, I had it, and it seems that most of you are having it. I see a wind of panic in the comments about one of the updates for today. If you go into the updates for Windows 10, there's an extra update, and uh, which is kind of interesting. It seems to be an update that has to do with the way that the bootable media behaves and, and so on. Uh, it's very unique. So in my update history here, uh, you could see it. There's an update calling itself KB5034441. It says it's the security update for Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, this is a unique security fix that is different from the cumulative update that fixes all the security flaws within Windows. And for a lot of you, and it did the same for me, it is failing with an error message. So what happened on my system is that when the main updates installed, the update for security here failed. It actually said it had download, failed to download. And I restarted once the updates were all ready to install. I restarted the machine. So if you have the failing of that update, wait for all the others to actually be ready for a restart, have them install. And once that is done, go back to Windows Updates and go check for updates because uh, it's going to tell you that an update failed. And it's going to re-download and install that update. For me, after the restart, after the other updates have installed, it installed correctly. It was a little long. A lot of you are saying it's a little long to install, but uh, don't worry. It should try it a couple of times. It probably will install, um, but make sure that it only installs alone because I think that's a problem. Once it's installing with the others, it doesn't work well. But once you get it just alone that it downloads and installs, it seems to work fine. So um, if anything else happens, um, we'll be checking it out with, you know, subsequent videos. Uh, but for now, it seems that if you just try a couple of times, it works. And actually, a lot of you that have had the error message said that after the restart and the reinstall of that update, it worked fine. So just make sure that it installs alone after the restart and it probably will be okay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.